Hey everybody, uh, check this out. It's the Temple of Trials. Totally watching the Zelda right now. <laughs> Actually, the kind of cavernous thing reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy IX for some reason. Yeah? Yeah, like, remember you go through like a winding cave on the Forbidden Continent, I think? Hmm. Or the Lost Continent, one of the two. If anything, it reminds me of the like four separate uh, caves like around the world that everyone has to like fight yes, the boss. Yes, that's it exactly. In the, those places, all at once. The, the Wind Temple, which had like, yeah, it, it reminds me of the Wind Temple part of that. Yeah. Yeah, and everyone else was fighting their own like Fire Temple, Water Temple. Mm hmm. Anyway, this is the. Uh, this is a Temple of Trials. Rashad's gonna open this door. And then Oliver and Esther are gonna be tested by the Great Sage. And hopefully pass these trials. The He's not significance just great, man. He's supreme. The significance uh the significance of this is quite arbitrary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we, uh... So, this is the Supreme Sage, is it? Ahem. <clears throat> Your Honor, we have come to perform the trials. Not... me. Huh? huh? Idiots! Oh. I'm the Supreme Sage! Oh! That's just my stupid servant on Bopa! Wonderful. I was, I was about to say, like, the sage looking dude. <laughs> There's a few red herrings in this game. He reminds you of what? I was gonna say, my neighbor's supreme sage. <laughs> no. Um. Yes, this little child-looking person is the Supreme Sage. Oh, crap. He reminds me of... What's his name from fucking Dragon Ball? Uh, Garland? You're thinking... Uh, Garlic Jr. is from... Is the, oh, Garlic... Is one, of the, one of them, but also the uh, other guy. Emperor Pilaf. Yes, there we go. Yes. Okay. Except That's... this guy has better hair. <laughs> And he has that stupid little face on his hat. And <laughs> on his everything in the entire temple. Like, if you look in the background there, mm -hmm. you see it. If you look on Umbopa's uh, chest, you see it. Ah, you're right, you're right. It's everywhere. <laughs> anyway, so this is the Supreme Sage Solomon. There's, there's not much really to, to say other than we're going to take some trials. Yay. Yeah. Yay, trials. <laughs> trials and tribulations. Yep, yep. And then Rashad is just like, nah, fuck you guys. You, can, you got it. You're good. I'm going to go home. I've got Babanas to sell. Actually, he says uh, quite the opposite of that. Like, uh, he says that he's not gonna sell Bavanas because he has to get prepared to start fighting against Shadar. <laughs> anyway, let's uh. talk to Umbopa. Okay, so the trials on the left is, like, uh, if we walk to the left here, it's the trials of friendship. And if we walk to the right, it is the Trial of Wits. We're gonna go to the Trial of Friendship first. Nice. Okay. Check it out! Oh my god, what? Look at this fun thing. 
Okay, so how, how the test of friendship works is you control both of them. Oliver with the left analog stick, Esther with the right, and you have to navigate them over this uh, simultaneously. Uh-huh. So it's, um, how ambidextrous are you, the challenge game within your game? <laughs> I mean, you could um, reasonably, like, move one person at a time, like, you were doing a bit of that there. Like, you, oh, yeah, you, yeah. uh, unless you are, like, completely capable, you, you literally just have to sit there and, and move one at a time, like, inch them forward. Is there any sort of time limit on anything? Uh, do you not see the panels falling? Uh, now I do, yes. Okay. Yeah. I thought those were just the panels that were being, like, switched on, though. Uh, no. They fall behind you as you progress. And if you go too slow, guess who falls off? <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's the last section. There are only three sections. Uh, but That's reasonable. They're going uh, above and beneath each other. Oh, wow. It's... Really, re <laughs> this is a little uh, disorienting. I yeah, would imagine if you had the controller in your hands. It's a little, little weird, but you get used to it. Uh, be sure to not press that green button yet. You gotta press them simultaneously. Otherwise, uh, their panels will fall. Anyway, look at us. We sure did complete that trial. Yeah. That My is much, much harder than I made it look. <laughs> Reminds me of Catherine. Uh, yeah. Just the goofy kind of thing. But then again, you never had to control two people in Catherine. Um, actually you did, near the end. Spoilers for Catherine. Oh you yeah, that's right. I forgot escort, about that. You had to escort mission. But I don't think Oliver's going to cheat on Esther with Myrtle in this game, so it's fine. Oh wow, that that's actually like highly appropriate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's like this, this, two Anyway, here's types. the the test of wits. You remember how uh was it Rashan that gave us puppet string? Uh yeah, Rashad gave us the spell Puppet String. Okay, so yeah. So we are going to have to ask this little bird for a little tip. Let's see. The dragon sees the warrior's sword while the bird is shown the shield. The beast, meanwhile, looks to his right, off into an empty field. So what does that mean to you, Bacon? Can you figure it out? Gobbledygook. Uh, Jabberwocky. Beast Dragon Warrior Bird. There you go. Uh, you have to move them. Louis C. Uh, you have to move them so that they are like appropriately facing whatever they would be. Like it said, like the beast, if it turns right, it'd be facing an empty field, so you put it on the end where it wouldn't be facing anything on the right. Absolutely. Or like the dragon is to the left of the sword, so uh, this one doesn't really require much of a hint, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. Basically, uh, it's going to show you this. And you have to make it look like it would from the top using these things. Like that. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, this one's relatively easy. Well, they're all relatively easy. <laughs> Well, it's not like this thing uh, rotates on you or uh, anything. Like you didn't have, you don't have to rotate the uh, statues or anything like that. You just gotta. Oh, uh, that would be hell. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that one's really easy. Yeah, that that was pretty straightforward. And. Then we move on to the final test of wits. What's I much en I enjoyed the test of friendship much more. Oh, is this a repeat? No. Oh, it's no, similar. kinda. 
It's very similar, yeah. Uh, and of course, Drippy holds your hand through this one. Well, just, he gives you a little bit of a hint. Wait, Drippy does? Mm-hmm. Anyway, the beast goes on top of the sun mark in the upper left. The warrior goes on the moon mark to the right of him. The dragon on the sun mark in the upper right. And the bird on the star mark that's third from the left on the lowest row. There you go. Uh, I'm not going to take time to explain these sorts of things. Uh, if you wanted to figure out why I did it, you can pause the video on the hint and figure it out. I think it's fairly straightforward. Yeah. Anyway, we got the proof of wits. Go us. Yay. Good job. Oliver has wit. Go team crybaby bunting. <laughs> Oliver doesn't have wit, we have wit, thank you. Oh yeah, that's a good point, because we're the ones guiding him. It's almost like it's a role-playing game. Do you want to be in the shoes of a 13-year-old boy who looks like this? Who looks about 8? Yeah. I'm pretty sure Esther is older. Esther is older than Oliver. Okay. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. how is that? Like, sh she's certainly taller than him. Yeah. I don't know, it's just worth mentioning. And I don't think it's a perspective thing. No, it's worth mentioning, it's just I find it odd that she would be. Hmm. Anyway. We're gonna do the test of strength, so we're gonna he we're gonna heal first. Yeah, I... I mean, I guess we're ready. <laughs> oh god, you sound so scared. I'm, I'm kind of concerned now, actually. <laughs> door, door, up from the floor, abracadabra. Abracadabra. That was goofy. <laughs> like, what? What do, what do you expect? <laughs> what do you expect? Oh, uh, that was beautiful. Oh, I know. It's, go right. it's goofy. It's not a bad thing. It's just... Let's it head through. Believe me, man. I am a goofy muffle. I, I know the, the goof things. I'm gonna cut out you saying the word mofo. <laughs> This is the final trial. This looks a bit flippin' serious. <gasps> ah! Jeepers! Oliver, look! Welcome to Bashura, a fight in which I will demonstrate how fights will go unless I grind. Oh god. Bashura is weak to ice. Hooray. So uh, basically this entire fight is going to be catch uh, casting Frostbite on Bashura. This dude is awesome. He has a really cool design. Like, it has the Ashura aesthetics of, uh, mm -hmm. uh common Hindu sort of. But there's something else added to I missed the defend by like half a second there <sighs> on Devastation. And then I don't know why I chose to heal Esther. Keep in mind that, um, everyone, like, all the familiars share the same health bar. So when I say heal Esther, it's just in reference to whatever familiar she has out or her. Oh, I see, I see. Mind so over matter is a look ah, uh, it knocks anything in that little circle back, but if you're not near it, 
uh, you don't have to worry about it. A lot of Bashura's attacks are basically, if you're not near him, uh, you're pretty much okay. Everything except for Devastation. Yeah, I can already tell that you, you've kept your distance most of the time here, which has paid off. Oliver's done pretty good. Esther hasn't! Esther hasn't kept her distance, look at how dead she is. And that's something that I want to demonstrate. Is that the AI is, uh, kinda bad. And they don't look out for themselves at all, and if you lead them to their devices, they will die. Because we are not to a point in the game where we can control whether or not they defend. Oh my god. Because, what? uh, like... Like, if Bashura was to go and cast Devastation, I couldn't defend with Oliver, switch to Esther, and then have her defend, because when I switch to Esther, Oliver would stop defending. It's dumb mechanics, yes. That's but this is not a... This is not a tough fight. Uh, some of the boss fights, you really just end up cheesing it, because... Uh, everyone but Oliver will die, so you can just basically defend, and then he'll just drop gold glims on you. Ah, uh, I see what you mean. Because bosses have a, like, crazy high rate of dropping gold glims on defending against their special attacks. That but no. Sense. Uh, that was Esther. Esther is... not great. Um... Well, she is she is great. I really enjoy Esther uh, in design and everything, but in terms of AI, she's not seems so good. She is kind of pitiful and added terrible bonus. Uh, never let her use mana. Never give her any sort of familiar that would ever use mana, cause. She will devour it within one or two fights. <laughs> like, she could have 60 mana and it will all be gone because she just will not choose to attack ever. So, go. The most efficient course of action would be to nuke everything. Yep, yep. Uh, which is especially funny because she has tank monsters that are supposed to spend time taking damage and healing me. Anyway, that's my that's my little spiel on uh, on Esther. We got a gold slim. Yes. I feel so bad just having her. Fun fact. Uh, terrible, terrible game mechanic right here. You saw how I had the super slash uh, about to go. Oh. Um, if yeah, he canceled it. What? Is... Oh, An oh, enemies. The jerk. Yeah, if uh, you go to cast a uh, miracle move or anything like that, and the enemy is about to cast one of their, like, uh, they take up the screen and hit everyone moves, uh, it, will, it will just straight up stop you. Or if they hit you with any sort of attack that knocks you back, it will, it will just cancel whatever you're doing. And it's awful. That's so rude, the game to do that. Yeah, timing on this game is kind of... It's, uh... Iffy. Iffy is a good word. <laughs> well, I mean, you've already demonstrated the defend timing problem, so... What problem? Uh, the defend timing problem. What, what about it? Oh, just the fact that just the timing for things in this game doesn't seem very well. Seems a oh, little the too timing short. for defending is the uh, the timing for defending is never too short. Uh, oh, okay. the t what I was talking about in earlier videos was the timing on evading, and the timing on evading is rightfully so. Like I don't actually uh, complain yeah, right. about that at any point. Yeah, no, because I, you don't I, take I, damage if you successfully evade. Okay, right. No, I was just misremembering mixing the two up. Yep, yep. For sure, uh, go down. Yeah. 
It takes a minute. So, he's a Shura, but he bashes. Yes. Is, is there anything more... Anything else we can get out of his name? Um... <laughs> he is a sure a hard boss. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah. I was Just, so... I, I, I really... No, I don't have any... I don't have any frost fights left. Throw fireballs. Uh, nope. No, I, I don't have anything. Yeah. Nope, so we're gonna send out Blip to finish the job. Did you see that defense? Did you see that defense? <sighs> Amazing. Yeah, man. All this is going on while Esther's dead body just lies there. <laughs> I have... get hit. And there we go. We defeated Bashura. Wonderful. <laughs> God damn, that explosion is so great. That was pretty great. It, it reminds me of the old Final Fantasies with the flashing white screen. <laughs> and the thunder cracks. And that <sighs> explosion. Alright, we got the, the page for Bashura. Wonderful. Nice. We passed the test of strength! Yay! That means we have passed every uh, test in the test of trials. Oh, Tem yeah. Temple of trials. He gave us the bridge spell, and I'm pretty sure the broom broom spell? Yep, broom broom. Oh my god, broom broom? That is... Oh my god, that, that's, that's awesome. That, that's such a name. We will only use it like twice ever. I don't care. It has such a anyway, wonderful name. Anyway, 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 anyway. Um. Solomon is going to teach us about serenading. Basically, throwing Pokeballs at creatures. Uh, you can. Serenade monsters. I'll, I'll explain that more in the next video. Okay. Master. Here, take this. It's called the Heart Winning Harp. Wow, it's beautiful. I like that how is... Drip... Go ahead. <laughs> I like how Drippy was jumping up and down like six feet, or you know, like five feet in the air. He can... he's a fairy. Just anyway, the of it. check out these three familiars. Uh, he's... Solomon is going to teach us how to tame creatures. So we have to pick between uh, one of these three to be our new best friend forever. They are pretty cute. I would cuddle them. <laughs> Especially the one with the hands. He looks handy. With the hands? He looks handy? Did you really... Did you really just do this and say this and... <laughs> Bacon, you're off the LV. <laughs> he looks cuddly, actually, is the best word to describe. It's a ghost! It is a ghost! And he can, like, cuddle your molecules when he passes uh, through you. I don't know. I just love okay. it. Okay, so we have the choice between the Lagoon Nyad, which is a more magic-based creature, has low health, has high magic, can, no can learn basically no offensive magic, but learns healing and status effects. We have the Bogly Boo, which is just kind of a uh, attack champ. You press X and then he beats the shit out of people with those giant hands. And then we have the Shonky Honker. That stupid looking creature. Hey, hey, whoa. That's what Solomon said. That's defensive. He's a tank. He's great. <laughs> 